We recently made the move from Tokyo to the countryside of Nagano, Japan. And it's been a busy time with packing, unpacking, and putting our limited building skills to the test with IKEA furniture. This weekend, it's time to get out and explore our new area, first with a local festival, and then with a trip into the Alps to enjoy the beautiful spring season. What are your thoughts, boy? It's so cool. I feel like it's something that you see and like, I don't know, a dream. <laughs> <laughs> The Balloon Festival is an annual event held in our new town of Saku. We woke up around 5am to see the hot air balloons take off. But once we got back home, we were also greeted to a beautiful view from our upstairs window. Speaking of views, we haven't been able to stop staring at the one of the Alps from our kitchen window since moving in. So it's time to make the quick trip and go see them up close. All right, before we get going on the road, a quick house update. We have been here for one week now and well, it's in a shambles as to be expected. We've made the most progress in the bedroom so far. We spent many hours putting flat packs together from Ikea so we could get some wardrobes. Upstairs, we've got, well, just a fridge and some bar stools so we can actually sit down. And in the office upstairs, we're using the cardboard from Ikea as chair mats until the real ones come. So that's the house front. In terms of the neighbors, we have met one pair so far. They are a lovely couple in their 70s and we did the gifts. We gave them some Australian uh, products, Tim Tams. We gave them some towels because that's what you do in Japan. You give and receive a lot of towels. So that's been going quite well. And now it's time to get going. Let's go. Well, the first location is a little bit of a bust because I thought maybe there could be some cherry blossoms that are still blooming. There are some late blooming ones down the hill, but none here. You can see that the lanterns are still up from the festival, so it was not too long ago. Here's what it is. We found some pink. We found some pink. Good enough. <laughs> but the snow-capped mountains are so beautiful, so even though there's no cherry blossoms, it's a lovely spot to just sit and relax, hey? Vibes. Also, I'm going to say something slightly controversial, but I actually prefer this time of spring at the end of April and May to cherry blossom time earlier because... Do you got a bug? <laughs> because cherry blossoms are really short, but this time is when all the green, like the hillside starts to become super green and it's really beautiful and you still have lots of other flowers. No, it really feels like you're coming, coming back to life after a long winter. Like, I really feel it. I'm feeling energized. I'm ready to get out and enjoy the outdoors. This fucking bug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I could actually stay here all day. It is so pre and peaceful. But alas, I am fanging for a snack and I think we have just the place for that. Let's go. It's big. Oh, it's just so beautiful. It is, it's pretty good. I mean, <laughs> we just drive it along to our secret little snack spot. But man, look at the, the Kita Alps, which like we can see from our new place, but you can see every detail. It's insane. It's like this massive wall on the horizon. Such a nice drive. We just came across it by chance as well. Yeah. Ogawa Alps Line is what it's called. Recommend, especially if you're on a bike, uh, like a, not a push bike, a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would actually be a really good trip for a bike. Mm. 
The reason why we have come all the way out here is for one of Naganov's delicious delicacies. It is oyaki, which is basically this big steaming dumpling. The outside's made of dough and the inside is filled with basically whatever you want. It can be mixed vegetables, red bean paste, pumpkin. And we have had oyaki before, but this one is apparently supposed to be the best or one of the best oyaki stores. It's got many chains around Nagano. So let's go and try it. Come on. I've had cheap oyaki before. It doesn't compare. This does not compare, man. This is good. <sighs> Those oyaki were so, so good. It's hard to describe just how good they were. So we even got kacha. We got ones to take away so we can take them hiking with us tomorrow. But we didn't just find this store by ourselves. Someone on an Instagram post of ours commented recommending it. So thank you so much because like honestly, it was just so good. And if you guys have any other recommendations for us that we should go and try, please do let us know because we really appreciate all of it. <laughs> because we really appreciate it. So the day is getting on a little bit and we need to go to find somewhere to park up for the night. So let's go do that. Many hours later. Well, we closed out the day by just uh, going to get some ramen for dinner. And now here we are at the Michino Eki. Pretty much time to go to sleep. We woke up at like 5 a.m. this morning for the hot air balloons. So it's 9 p.m. now and we're ready to crash. But uh, pretty excited for a big day of hiking tomorrow. So let's hit the hay. some hiking. Today we are doing Mount Izuna in Nagano. There are a few mountains around here, Mount Myoko, Mount Takazuna, Mount Kurohime, which means Black Princess. And this one, unlike two of the others, is not a 100 famous mountain, but we just wanted to start off easy because this is the first of our hikes for the season. So this one's only four and a half hours return. There may be a little bit of snow at the top. Let's go and do it. low key for an outdoors channel we've been indoors quite a lot recently and just the walk up to the second car park here has kind of done me in <laughs> i'm ready to call it quits go eat some chocolate cake but there will be cake after this right obviously that's why we like not much talking happening here just heads down grinding it out you know i mean the sounds of the birds are nice to listen to actually but i think we're just a little bit unfit maybe there's been too much chocolate cake in our life lately maybe we sh winter hibernation winter hibernation yeah i think maybe we're two tenths out of the way yeah. two tenths is mm -mm. look here aim with Made up for yesterday's bust. We found lots of, oh, she's not even here, Jesus. I was saying, look here, we made up for yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's lovely, isn't it? Sorry to bore you. Because <laughs> we're at a higher altitude. Ah, uh, makes sense, makes sense. Very beautiful. Wow, this is a good outlook now, isn't it? Whoa, ooh, what city is that? That's Nagano. Oh, Nagano it's sheep. big. And Sakushi is over there. That beautiful oh, home. That one is Yatsukatake, which means Aww. that's what we can see from home. Yeah. Which means Aww. home. Oh, that that beautiful that home. That one is at Minami Alps. That's no way. What we can, which means that one that we saw before is the Chuo Alps. So we can see the North Chuo and Minami all in one place. And Yatsukatake. Bloody beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's a beautiful lookout. Beautiful. I mean, just look at that wall of Alps there. That's nuts. Ooh, that uh, 
That breeze is on, on the sweat is a bit cold actually. I like how there's like little lakes spotted around there. See that? Yeah. Yeah. That's like nice. Oh lovely. In Japan, a lot of the mountains are in 10 stations. So the 10th station is the top of the mountain and zero station is the trailhead. And then you're going to see a lot of these signs all along. This one is Kyu Gome, which means the ninth station. So we're almost at the top. So Gome just means like station and then that's the first character is going to be the number. So I think if you just have like a picture on your phone of the characters for one to 10, then you'll be able to keep up with where you are along the mountain. The end is in sight, 15 minutes away. I'm gonna run to the finish. Ready? <laughs> Go. No, I'm not gonna run. It's <laughs> dangerous. Oh, is that why? <laughs> oh, look how much this person sunk in. <laughs> it's gonna take us longer than 15 minutes at this pace. With the, uh, the snow is what it is. Final shift, boss. Mm. Power at home hard. Mm. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's eat. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> Can you tell someone's hungry? Watch <laughs> <laughs> mm. So this spring season, we actually had quite a few of you guys uh, message us on Instagram asking about which hikes to do in the springtime. And well, the hiking, the summer hiking season starts from June. Um, so as you can see behind me in springtime, the Alps are still completely in winter time. So unless you are really confident doing winter hiking, you're probably going to want to stick to mountains that are around one to 2,000 meters tall, like this one, where there'll be a little bit of snow or hardly any at all. Thank you so much to everyone who reaches out and messages us on Instagram. Please really do free to do that because I love <laughs> giving people advice about like outdoor stuff in Japan or recommendations. So yeah, feel free anytime. So over there was where we were yesterday on that beautiful drive. The mountains look way bigger from here. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to stop on the way down very often for breaks, but yeah, we really have not been hiking or doing much cardio recently, and I am awfully feeling it. <laughs> yeah, aren't you? Um, I think the, the feeling of just wanting to get back to the car overcomes Oh. And then I get a surge of adrenaline. Nah, my legs hurt. <laughs> That's all. Well, I think that actually might be one of the best cafes I have ever been to in Japan. It was so good, I almost forgot to film the cake that we were talking up the entire time on the hike. But now we just got about a one and a half hour, one hour and 20 minutes drive back to our place in Saku. And I tell you what, that is the best feeling ever. Honestly, driving back three, four, five hours back to Tokyo after a long, hard weekend, like, like we did today. Honestly, it's just like the stress builds up and I just feel so, Stress free and relaxed. Oh, so good. Anyway, I guess that brings uh, this video to the end. Thank you all so much for watching and coming along with us, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Something is happening. I don't know what the fuck is happening. What was that? Can anyone explain to me what the hell that was? Some kind of local fest. Have fun. Oh, it's a too. chicken. It's a chicken. You want chicken?
I don't know, is that a pheasant? 